So you don't have to do any of the eyedroppers on the slides like you would with the refractometer. I've been dying to try this thing since we got them in, so there's no other better time than now. Uh, I'm going to start an unboxing for you guys and show you what it looks like. Now right away it comes in a nice little plastic carrying case and you can see how small this thing actually is. And this is the marine tester and it does come with a battery so let's check right now and make sure this thing is in here. Which I may not be able to do with my... Oh, no, it's already on for you guys. So, we turned it on, and all you have to do is put it in the water. So it even tells you the temperature of the water and adjusts accordingly. So let's check it out and see how this thing works. So you can see right now it's at zero, and as soon as we touch it in the water, it immediately rises up and will tell us our level. So it's around 35 parts uh, per million of salinity um, and the temperature is in Celsius right now so it's 25 degrees Celsius. So let's check out our other tanks and see how they are over here. Now we did just fill these up and we did just mix them with salt water so they may be a little bit off and we did turn off the lights for noise guys because it gets really loud with these pumps going. So hopefully you can see that number. And right now, since the salt's still mixing, it's around 30, so we're going to want to raise it up a little bit. But this thing is really cool. Honestly, it feels awesome. You just have to touch it in the water, and it is um, live, so it will change as you move it. This one over here um, is a little low at the moment, and this one's at 29.8. So as we mix the salt more, that should rise in the next half hour. Uh, we can check our frag tank up front. Now this thing has been running for a while, so it should already be accurate. We should not have, have any issues with this. So the salt should be around 35 to 36. And look at that. Would you look at that? <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see under the blue light, but um, now the current is blowing on it, so that may, the numbers are bouncing around a little bit. But it's right around 34. So fish, people sometimes tend to do fish tanks around 34 and then corals like SPS and stuff a little bit higher, somewhere 35, 36, just because it does increase magnesium, calcium, and alkalinity when you add a little bit more salt to the water. So it makes it more bio or readily available for the corals and stuff. So this little thing is awesome. I am gonna wash it off. Uh, I'll wash it in some RODI water. It's always a good practice because when you wash things in regular sink water, tap water, they do have heavy minerals. And whenever you're using an electrode to test, you always want to rinse it off in RVI water. Uh, unfortunately, I have plenty of it right here. <laughs> and I spilled on the floor. Good job for me. There is a delay with that valve. Um, and you can see this is zero. There is no salt in this RODI water. And it is at 20 degrees Celsius, so I'll have to change it to Fahrenheit around here. Um, makes it a little bit easier for us to translate. But but there you go, that's awesome. So you rinse it off, put the cap on, and you can save it for next time. And it does automatically shut off after a while, but you hold the button, it shuts off. So very cool, I love this tool already. Um, any of you who have been used to doing this and trying to drip it in, People, you'll see them dip it, in, dip it in their water tank and try to roll it back. And this can be confusing, it can be awkward if you don't have enough light in your fish tank, light, you're ducking down. These can be awkward. If you're not used to using these and you have to calibrate them every once in a while. So, for the price, I would take the plunge and I would get one of these things just because it's instant and accurate every single time. It doesn't matter if you drop straight, if your glass is on, if you got an air bubble in it. So. We'll definitely be um, using this thing more often, but there you guys go. That's my uh, three minute um, 
unboxing. And I also didn't show you guys more, but they do give you the calibration fluid just to double check. So if you don't trust that your salt water is 35 parts per a trillion or a million, <laughs> but um, they give you something to double check. So you can actually dip this in your salt water and then dip it in here just for calibration for your own personal safe, uh, safe of mind and peace of mind. But that's pretty cool. Waterproof Hanna salinity checker and $69. And you can get it here at Corelust or get it online at corelust.com. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and share with a friend, and thank you for being part of the Coralus community.